So let's take a tour of downtown Chandler on a rare cloudy day. There's been a lot of changes down here. So behind me here is a new development called Overstreet. It's got the Flix Brew House Theater and a lot of nice new restaurants and an ice cream shop. And uh, behind me, it's still a dirt parking lot, but the people that have developed this Overstreet, um, they're gonna develop something across the street. So, but we're not sure, I'm not sure, if the Jack and Box has uh, decided to sell, he's been dug in like a tick for decades over there. He gets all of his business from Chandler High School, so he's never wanted to budge. So it's gonna be interesting to see if that uh, Jack in the Box goes away. So let's take a look at some of the new things that have that have come down here, and then we'll talk a little bit about some of the some of the history of Chandler. Um, I'm walking right across the street from the Crown Plaza. San Marcos. This is one of the newest places that came into downtown right here. It's called Craft 64. It's craft beer and pizza. And they have a nice outdoor patio. Just came in this year. Across the street here, which is the center part of Chandler, is the Crown Plaza San Marcos Resort. Now, this was built by Dr. A.J. Chandler, who actually helped develop Chandler. And uh, I'm gonna swing this camera around, see where I'm gonna be walking towards the Plaza Resort. He was a veterinarian. Now, he was the only veterinarian in Chandler at the time, but he was also a developer. And so, in a few minutes, we're gonna talk about what, it el what else he developed down here, but this is, uh, he built this resort, and this was the center point of, of downtown, and still is to this, to this day. Um, last night was the Christmas tree, the tumbleweed tree lighting ceremony, and it was raining. Um, here is the courtyard, and side of San Marcos. Over here, I'm going to show you across the street, is our famous tumbleweed Christmas tree. So back there. It was kind of fun last night. They lit that tree at 8 o'clock at night. As soon as they lit the tree, the mayor announced to the crowd that the Chandler High School football team just won the state championship. So that was kind of exciting. So let me tell you about this building right here. This is Crust Italian Restaurant. A few years back, this was Dr. A.J. Chandler's office for his veterinary practice and his entrepreneurial business. And uh, so it's that bank vacant for many, many years. Um, developers came in and bought it. And they were busy demolishing some walls. Uh, took a wall out and found another false wall behind it, removed that, and they found some stairs that led down to a basement. Inside that basement, they found a bar. Legend had it, it was uh, Dr. A.J. Chandler's speakeasy. Now it's called the Ostrich. It's behind me here. You can see there's no signs. You just have to know it's here. See those, that door at the bottom of the stairs? It's one of the best bars in town. And they get their restaurant, the food from the restaurant upstairs. So that's pretty slick. Now to understand some of the history of Chandler, there's a nice little uh, walkway down here, just adjacent to the resort. And it explains a lot about how Chandler came to be and it's because of things like this which is the uh, irrigation so he was very instrumental in getting water from the salt river delivered down here to Chandler and that turned Chandler into a vibrant um, farming community a lot of cattle a lot of cotton he brought the water to Chandler and that was his initiative and so uh, um, if you walk down that little trail down there, there's a bunch of signs that show, you know, what, 
how that whole process took place. Across the street from me here is the Santan Brewing Company, established in 2007. They brew their own beer here. They also brew it at another facility, and it's one of the uh, main staples of, of downtown. So now we're going to walk down the sidewalk here. I'm going to turn the camera around. This is just the main walkway in uh, what we call downtown Chandler. El Zocola, Mexican Grill, they have an amazing backyard patio. Good uh, breakfast destination down here, downtown Chandler Cafe and Bakery. Nice outdoor shop here. Mangle and Gray's Cheese Bar and Kitchen, they do a lot of catering. And your good old old fashioned barber shop. Been here for a long time. Murphy's Law Irish Pub. <laughs> Quilts. And of course, Sydney's West. Famous ostriches. Nice gift shop. A lot of that really hasn't changed that much. This is probably the best steakhouse in Chandler, in my opinion, DC Steakhouse. Now they're gonna be moving um, in a few months to a new location in development you're gonna see just south of where I'm walking right now. Now you get across the street and you've got Bourbon Jack's, Original Chop Shop, Saba's, Sasha's Kitchen, The Brickyard, Las Palmas Cantina. Down there, farther on down, you can see there's West Alley Barbecue, good barbecue food, and a Securo, I mean a Puro cigar bar up on top. Down the street, across the street over there, um, there was a fire last year, and a couple of those buildings got, got destroyed, not really destroyed, but in, uninhabitable so they are redeveloping that I'm not quite sure what's going in there yet but it's uh, coming soon this is a little walkway that takes you past original chop shop and I'm going to show you the new development that's coming uh, they're going to start moving in next year so they're putting in a new hotel downtown it's right across the street from City Hall so you got a new hotel you've got free parking 350 spots so downtown's kind of famous for its free parking, so not famous, but so here's the hotel. And this is the new development that's coming in. Show you more of that in a second. So this is what this is gonna look like when it's done. Shows the bistro down there, Hilton Garden Inn, office buildings up on top. This has been a dirt parking lot for years. It's right across the street from City Hall and Serrano's, Mexican food. And they're building a park inside, so there'll be you know, some music venues and stuff going on. This is where DC Steakhouse is going to relocate. Not quite sure where yet, but this is where it's where the new one's going to be this is all office space up above and then retail space down below and like i said it's right across the street from the channel city hall i'm on the road just to the south of this new development here and down here is a bar sports bar called the local opened up two years ago and it's a great sports bar if you want to come in and watch Things, but the food there is amazing next to it is a place called the perch restaurant and it's famous for its birds so we're going to show you that in just a second this is the perch they have a good sunday brunch they craft their own beer here and this has been here a long time 
uh, when the lady bought the restaurant, there were rescue birds here. She said, what do I do with them? And the guy said, well, I would just keep them. Make that a part of your theme. So I'll show you what it's all about in here. Morning. Somebody didn't like the birds. So we have somebody that comes in just about every day in the morning before they open and take care of the birds. Take them out. Hello. Some of them are pretty chatty. Especially this one over here. If he's feeling lonely, he will uh, holler at you and let you know. If you scream. The prettiest one's this blue one that's up in the top of it. Okay, so like the birds that are on his little thing, I thought those are real birds. So they have a nice bar in the back. Very outdoor seating here. What's interesting is there's a vacant lot right here that they're using for parking. And as we talk about real estate, places that develop downtown Chandler, this little lot is a gold mine. But the reason it's not being developed is the guy that owns this little two bedroom house right here, he's kind of like the uh, Jack in the Box I was talking about earlier. He's also dug in like a tick and he's not gonna sell. Um, so one of these days, um, he'll probably decide that he could use the money and uh, he'll sell this for a a lot of dough so we're still on Arizona Avenue and what we're gonna do is we're gonna walk through the city buildings to our east we're just gonna cross the street here and I will show you a cool place that's on the other side so we just left across the street from this new building so if we just head east past City Hall, beautiful time of year down here. It's a nice, cool day. City buildings are pretty slick down here. But back behind here, there really wasn't a whole lot going on. There were just a lot of uh, abandoned buildings until about two years ago. People started developing this area of Chandler. It's by the uh, police department. The uh, community center, the library, and the courthouse. And we're going to show you a place called the courthouse. Like a quart of milk. Only they serve beer. So we're not too far away here. Out front here. So they own this entire, they share this development here, this lot. Um, not quite sure how much I'm going to get to show you here today. It's Sunday morning, kind of locked up. This is called the Civic Market. And uh, good breakfast, good place for coffee. They also have an Italian pizza oven inside here. the inside here. They have a wood-fired Italian pizza oven here. The pizza is great. There it is right there. Back here though, this is what's interesting. We've got a hair salons. Called Unmarked Beauty and Wellness. Another little nice meeting area. And then out back is not developed yet. Um, the courthouse uses this for cornhole events, um, disc, what do they call it? Disc golf. 
a lot of outdoor seating. They're eventually going to be brewing their own beer back there, and they're already making their own vodka. Now up ahead, this is something I see in downtown Chandler a lot down here. Um, because of the texture of the building and the glass, a lot of photographers to hang on, hang around down here and take portraits uh, with people. So this is the third photographer I've seen uh, in just a short time that I've been down here this morning. And uh, nice quiet day on a Sunday, so they come down here to take their take their pictures. But you can see with the architecture, you know, it's just some great images and backgrounds here to do that kind of stuff. Especially this part right here. See, there's a photographer right there. This is the city council chambers. And back there is on the Avenue. So we are just east of where we started. We started over there. And this is the part of the Chandler downtown park. A lot of events go on down here all year. A lot of festivals they'll close this off and uh, last night there were tents and everything here people selling stuff uh, there's a big barbecue festival there's a big beer festival uh, there's a stage down here for entertaining a lot of different bands there's a huge jazz festival here in this park every year and then back there at the very end you see is the library Chandler library and then there's the community center. Behind there is the fire department and the police station. So this is downtown Chandler and uh, changing rapidly. So hope you enjoyed the quick tour. If you have any questions about living in Chandler, send me an email at rick at rickhelps.com. See you.